Absolutely. Yeah, coffee stands like this one in this gas station parking lot are considered mobile and they don't have to have permanent plumbing like you would in a normal building. That is until now and owners want to know why. It's a kind crew at Wicked Brew Espresso. Just don't mess with their business. I, I think maybe they thought it wouldn't make too big of a stir, but they were wrong. Cause a stir, it did. This letter from health officials informing coffee stand owners the state has changed its administrative code. Thank you. And now they must have permanent plumbing in their mobile businesses, including toilets. I still haven't wrapped my brain around the fact that they can take away one sentence and destroy everything we've all worked so hard for. For as long as anyone can remember, coffee stands have been allowed to use bottled water to wash dishes, then haul the wastewater away and dump it down a sink. I mean, we help each other out every time. Owner Krista Long says plumbing mobile stands would likely cost $100,000 or more and cause countless mom and pop businesses around Washington to shut down. I still haven't found the words. I, I don't understand how they could take the livelihood of not only the business owners, but the employees. What's more, even if current stands are somehow grandfathered in, Krista worries she wouldn't be able to sell hers when she wants to retire because the buyer would then likely have to pay to plummet at that point. You play by the rules and now they just want to come and whip the rug out from under us. Chocolate, caramel. For now, at Wicked Brew, these women say they're not playing nice. You want to stir a pot, pick women. Um, we band together and we're going to and we are. The new rule is already in effect, but it will not be enforced until September. We did talk with the State Department of Health today. They say it will be up to each individual coffee shop to speak with their local health departments to figure out if they do need to get this new permanent plumbing. Live in Linwood tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.